What's up, guys? It's Brad at Yamaha Marine Center. I haven't been here in a while because I haven't had really any boats, and the boats that are coming in don't have engines on them. So it's been difficult to post anything. Anyway, with all that being said, today we have a 2022 Pursuit Sport 288. And as always, one of my favorite boats. <laughs> I think I say that about every boat, but this one's really cool. The last several times we've gone on rendezvous, we have taken this boat. Uh, a couple years ago, we went to Bimini. So we drove, uh, trailered this down to Fort Pierce and then drove across to Bimini. Uh, actually, Fort Pierce to Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale to Bimini. So check that video out on the channel. Hopefully, I can put it in the comments, not comment section, but down below this video. And then this past year, uh, 2021, we went to uh, Hawks Cay Resort in Duck Key. So we trailered pretty much the whole way down, dropped in there. Weather kind of stunk, but the boat did phenomenal. Um, as you can tell from the front of the boat, just like most all pursuits, it has a nice aggressive entry in the front. This boat even more so, because it actually maintains a 24 degree dead rise in the back. But uh, hopefully you can get a good idea of that entry angle there, how steep it enters the water. So we were running in, geez, pretty consistently three to five foot seas. I had my kids with me, or 10 and eight, and uh, they were enjoying the ride the whole time, staying dry, uh, unless we got some weird quartering wind or beam wind or something like that. But the rest of the specs on the boat are, oh, twin 300 horsepower standard power on the boat. We'll go back and check out the engines because they have the new Yamaha DES uh, digital electronic steering uh, length overall is spot on 30 feet beam is 9 feet 8 inches uh, 8220 pounds dry with engines like i said dead rise maintains 24 uh, degrees in the back and we'll show you that because it's still a nice deep entry back there and this is actually the same hole that they're running on their uh, old model center 280 and sport 280 so the hole is so popular they maintain it and put a different cap on it um Anyway, fuel capacity, 230 gallons, 24-gallon uh, live well, 9-gallon head capacity, 31-mile-an-hour uh, cruise, and 55-mile-an-hour top end. Uh, range is about 346 miles, and fresh water is 26 gallons. Uh, the color, I believe they call this Gulfstream Blue, which is I wanted to show it in a different light, so I'll wait it a little bit later in the day because it really is kind of a grayish blue but if you see it in certain lights um and it's a titanium bootstrap just to give you a point of reference so this is pure titanium uh color so that's like a grayish so that's why the blue looks pretty gray but if you see it in certain lights it almost has a purpley tint to it it's a really pretty color i mean i didn't really like it at first but it's been growing on me you can almost see the more purpley color on this side but uh they had it on their 42 at the last couple of shows um, with total hole color because you can actually get the hole colored all the way down to the keel now uh, and that looks really nice but here's one of the things i like this is a small spot they make with a dive door because i think i've told you guys before um, they don't just take a boat cut a hole in the hull and then call it a day um, they have to engineer around that so these are pretty much you can kind of see the wax from the gel coat there but pretty much hand built uh, doors and with extra support on either side uh in, inside you can see the differences in the bulkheads that way that doesn't become the weakest part of the boat um transom extensions just like any of the pursuits that are out now stick out nice and far and you can see that the actual running surface is lower than the transom extension so these functions like uh, trim tabs so it keeps the boat floating flatter um, when you're at rest and then it helps it get up on plane uh, not that this boat needs help with these twin 300s on a 28 foot boat but there's that steep 24 degree dead rise back there too uh, and then coming around the boat any other options we did not much on this one no underwater lights yet but they're easy enough to add every pursuit come harness comes made with every option that they offer so if you ever wanted to add something down the road the plugs are already there which is really nice it makes rigging a lot easier and then as i mentioned before you see the twin yamaha 300 with the new digital electronic steering so this is considered the integrated steering and then they also have this engine it's still a digital engine but 
the steering cylinders would be external like a hydraulic cylinder but they're still uh, digital electronic and then they have a third version that is still a hydraulic steering which um, Key West is using um, on their engine so it's the new cowling it's the new XTO look but you don't get the benefits of the digital electronic steering and you might ask what those benefits are and I will go through that a little bit more once we get up to the helm I'm gonna pull this canvas off so we get a better look at the boat when we're on it and then uh, we'll pick the video up here in a All couple right. of seconds. So that was about five minutes, maybe. And I got most of the canvas off. I left some on so you can see what it looks like uh, with the enclosure. And I kind of carelessly threw some of it back here on the transom. Just get it out of the way temporarily. Um, but you can see platforms, big wide platforms. So if you're into diving, spear fishing, or even just the kids swimming around, uh, plenty of entry into the boat. Um, also these function, uh, the batteries are on kind of show you but you can trim the engines all the way out of the water and if you foul a prop with a uh, line or fishing line <clears throat> anything you can see you can get to the prop from the transom platform so it's kind of nice and then you have uh, plenty of space to walk around and with this new integrated steering we've actually had a couple of clients build like starboard to go across here in pursuits been doing it on a couple of their newer models like the DC 246 um, the Sport 428, so it's a completely enclosed uh, splash well because you don't need the trim space anymore because the engines are up so high. Uh, but it's it's pretty phenomenal to get back here and be able to pull cowlings off, do maintenance, do work, that kind of stuff. Um, I'll try to remember all the options on the boat. Like all these uh, rod holders back here are standard. Uh, you can do a ski tow right here. Again, why this boat is so versatile, it really takes care of families and it fishes really well because you do have a huge hard top for weather protection um, and we can do a rocket launcher up there as well but you can pull it all down and you know we were just sandbarring and hanging out the whole time we were in the keys with plenty of room plenty of storage you can see the seating back here you know a lot of times we'd leave one of these seats folded up uh, and put a cooler back there and still use that for a seat uh, but these floor boxes the fish boxes are all insulated so you can use these like coolers if you wanted to and then they're also macerated with diaphragm pumps so it'll pump anything out of that hole that'll fit through the hole without damaging a, a macerator or something and then all the hardware again why i like pursuit so much all our hardware is big robust it all locks um all high grade stainless 3 16 or whatever you call that stuff and then fresh water you can turn your cockpit lights on back here and then you have raw, raw water access there. Uh, tool storage, you have a couple of tubes to put rods, or you put gaffs, brushes, nice teak accents. This is an optional upholstery, so this is the white and gray, which is a little bit of an upgrade. You see these backrests actually pop up and down when you close the seats or open them, so it hits you higher on the back, and then you can really fold them out of the way, again, for fishing. <coughs> have a nice big cockpit space that aft seat storage um, and it's just access to batteries and stuff down here and then your live well again that dive door from the inside again robust hardware nice tight fit and finish you can see that bulkhead I was talking about they build the structure around the door that way it doesn't become a weak point it's really neat. I mean, really pursuits an engineering company that just happens to build boats because they do a really good job. It's all really well thought out. Not that they're perfect, but they usually get it pretty good the first time. And then there's an optional ladder for the dive door, which you can tell because we have the plate installed. And then the ladder stows here. Nice clean stowage. Cockpit table has its own stowage pumps nice tucked up underneath the lip so if these uh, drains clog for any reason and water starts getting in your bilge which you can see i don't know if you can see that limber hole right there that's water management so this is just a liner to keep everything nice and clean uh, a little bit better looking you can see all the pumps all the through holes are bonded into the electrical system so if you're at a marina and they're leaking voltage it pulls it into the boat instead of uh, accelerating galvanic corrosion. If you're looking to bilge, all your pumps are accessible, all your filters are accessible, fuel filters and all that good stuff. And then 
they hide a lot of the ugly stuff like your fuel tank accesses are below that panel so you don't see a lot of the ugly stuff they cover it with a nice finished not that it's clean but finished hatch and these hatches are super thick all resin transfer molded and then they even take the time to paint where it would usually be like pink with resin so they gel coat it to get a good finish on it and then these huge hatches when you close them you know no flex no squeaking nothing like that and then into this beautiful hard top it gives you pretty good clearance i mean if you're really tall i mean i'm only like five seven and there's a good 14 inches of clearance above my head and then you can get the hard top of course painted the same color as the whole sides or differently if you wanted to kind of mix it up and then same with the helm you can get that a different color if you wanted and then this is pretty standard on the helm seat as far as fixed armrest again nice teak accent flip down bolsters and you do have a fore and aft adjustment here to pull the seat forward or move it back tackle storage and then you have some more drawers and stuff here put all your coast guard flares all that kind of stuff because they already give you fire extinguishers all over the boat i think there's two on deck and then one down in the head and then there's your uh, multifunction digital panel so all your dc circuits not that we have ac on this one but they do make uh, short power an option if you get the bow thruster because you have to have onboard charger and all that good stuff and then the electronics if you elect the electronics from the factory it's the twin 8612s currently all your switching acr spotlight which is another option garmin vhf 315 with remote is another option and then jl audio you can upgrade that system and then the Yamaha CL7, which is actually another Garmin unit, Yamaha software in it. And then the major advantage of the DES stuff. So we order these boats most of the time since they've been coming with DES. So you get your digital controls, which is the digital engine. Uh, you have all of the old Helmmaster operations on this. So you can select stations if you want to go and put a second station on the boat. Not that you can do it on this one uh, unless you customize it neutral hold so that way you can't put the engines in gear so if you're uh, warming the boat up at the dock and a kid or somebody comes and bumps these it's not going to go into gear single lever gives you the ability to control both engines so you can pull your starboard pinnacle out of the way and operate both engines on the one and then center engine <clears throat> not i don't think it's functional on a twin um and then I guess that would be for like real low speed trolling or something. And then you also have speed control, which is nice. So you don't have to use the troll function through the gauge. You can pretty much control it here. Um, you just hit down to engage it and then up and down and you go 50 RPM increments. So really cool technology in it. Um, and then it has the digital steering, like I said, integrated in the engine. So there's no hydraulic fluid in here. It's all fly by wire and it makes it super simple to put an autopilot in. So we got plenty of room on the dash for the Yamaha autopilot and it makes it less expensive and easier to do and then you can add the joystick as well which we could throw you know down here or we could fill in one of those cup holders over there or something but it makes it easier uh very modular system really cool stuff that they came out with and i always talk about the wiring and stuff on these pursuits and how they make them in-house their whole harness is made um at the factory if i can't get this help open with one hand hang on much That's easier fun. with two hands but you can see all the whole helm tilts aft and then they have these supports so the console doesn't come slamming down on you and then you can see just how clean everything is your NEMA system NEMA 2000 all your modules your Yamaha buses and then all the wiring I mean just how watertight everything is heat shrunk um, where all the splices are is all Deutsch connected so it's all waterproof and it's all self uh, extinguishing um, tinned copper so they use like the highest grade stuff and like I said all made in-house super clean <clears throat> pretty much everything's labeled so you can really figure out what you're doing and where everything goes so you don't spend all your time chasing things down but I don't know I'm just impressed by that kind of a nerd though and then all your speakers your sub your forward speakers your uh backrests for the forward seats of course we have the cushions for there which are probably in the head 
these boxes are insulated a lot of room for fenders and stuff too everything drains overboard which is important don't want a bunch of water getting in your bilge if you don't need to uh, courtesy lighting all around the boat I, and we did do the mid-level blue lighting so these would be blue leds midway up the boat and then of course your anchor locker for that through stem windlass nice and clean in here as well you can control the windlass from the helm or you have a remote plug down here and then you also have a wash down so you can clean the anchor line as it comes in this is raw water on this one uh, some of the bigger boats have a fresh water option up here too i shouldn't say option they have fresh water and raw water up in the box and then courtesy light which is a white led so you can really see what's going on but even this they they finish and you can see the different types of fiberglass you use they're not using that old school like woven roving uh, all over the boat so they're using specific fiberglasses for specific regions based on uh, what they want the boat to do how they want to perform if they need a little bit of flex here or there they'll use a different uh, axial of fiberglass um, and then they you know like i said they finish it any anywhere you're going to see is going to be finished or should be at least and then this floor storage, you have another spot for your table. So you can run that table in the bow or you can run that same table in the aft cockpit. And then you see, again, nice clean wiring, plumbing. Uh, this would be your house for your bow thruster and the battery would go up here on this shelf if we had one, but this boat is not option with it. Um, it does still have a knockout in the hull. So if you wanted to have one put in aftermarket, I'm sure we could do something like that then you know battery chargers all that good stuff a lot to consider uh, Ford head entry only I don't like about these is that you do have to kind of compromise so you can't have people walking around this side of the boat so they have to come around port side but uh, getting down into the head is a lot easier with these Ford heads you don't have to turn around and walk in backwards it gives you a lot more headroom as you're entering and then you can see the nice finishes Corian countertops uh, real wood veneers again. I'm not gonna try to figure out what wood that is always changing it uh, nice Cover on the head there It's fiberglass not plastic and then you see some stowage for the uh, Bow cushion that's the little cushion that goes there the rest of the cushions are in inside the dealership And then you got a little bit more storage here little hangers light natural light over here which you can put some screens and stuff like that in there and then getting out again another fire extinguisher safety first but good looking boat great performing boat have a lot of time on it and i've enjoyed it if you have any questions about this guy or anything else on the lot please Give Brad or Barton a call, 904-644-7631. Get us on the website, yamahamarinejax.com. And stay tuned because we got some construction going on over here. That's not us, it's the hotel, but we're next very soon. Thanks, guys.